sense on this is that the hole is straight because there was no vibration with the drill bits and the lathe is pretty damn flawless and when you have that same consistent sound no vibration no wobble you got a straight hole so now it's just a matter of uh, making sure that because I was going slow and this is at one point that's sliding across the wall, there's ridges in the wall and that's what I need to go back and clean up now with higher speed and then ream it. threads on this side than on this side. This is how it actually goes in. And this cylinder here, once you bore this out, that cylinder is what allows you to get the pin straight. So now it's a matter of getting this channel bored out. This is the way it goes in, like this. So this has to be bored out to match that cylinder now. But as far as the tap goes, that was, that was good. Not very far. Lucky I've been going small, we're only about a half out. Starting to go. Now, what happens is that this flexes. And so, in order to be able to get the straightest cut, you have to give it time to cut, you have to give it time for that flex to pull back in while it's cutting. So basically, when you're boring, you just have to take your time. First thing I always do, I confess, is screw it into a shaft and see whether or not the thing rolls. This is sassafras, not sanded yet. Yeah. 